Qatar is extremely concerned by the Taliban's latest ban on women working at NGOs. New metro lines and water taxis are in the works. Qatar charity launches income-generating projects in Sudan. And finally, a BBC poll has ended with a landslide victory for Qatar. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's foreign ministry has expressed extreme concern over the Taliban's decision to ban female employees from working with non-governmental organizations. Qatar stressed on the, quote, need to respect women's rights to work, given that the freedom to choose and accept work is a human right. The Taliban's latest move has been condemned worldwide and has forced major international organizations to halt life-saving operations in Afghanistan. Great news for people who make long drives to and from work. al Khor and al Wakra are among two cities that will now be linked to the rest of Qatar with new metro lines. Places such as Imsaid, an industrial area, will also be covered in the next phase of Qatar Rail's expansion plans. This includes the opening of 60 additional stations by 2026. Now, Qatar Charities Office in Sudan has launched a new income-generating project for mothers of orphans and women most in need. The women will be able to work in a fully functioning bakery supplied by Qatar Charity. More than a dozen women have already been trained and are ready to work as part of Qatar Charity's economic empowerment projects. And finally, in an ironic turn of events, the BB BBC, a heavy critic of Qatar's hosting of the 2022 FIFA World Cup, has launched a poll that has gone in favor of this year's tournament. The BBC's poll asked readers to vote on what they thought was the greatest World Cup of the century. The outcome of the poll proved to be a landslide win for Qatar with a staggering 78% of votes. 2014 edition in Brazil finished in second with 5%, with the rest languishing far behind. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.